In this video, we'll be hooking up the infrared sensor that comes with your RGSAT space kit. In order to get started, you'll need seven jumper wires, Arduino Uno, the IR sensor, two resistors, and the breadboard. It's kind of hard to see for the rest of the video, so take special note that this tab on the IR sensor needs to be facing towards you during this build. First, we'll plug the sensor into the breadboard. With the tab facing towards you, take the two right legs of the IR sensor and place them in row one and row three of the left side of the breadboard. Then take the other two legs and put them in row one and row three of the right side of the breadboard. This will separate the connections so that we can be clear where the power, where the signal wires go. Next, we're going to connect the resistor to one leg of the sensor. And the other end to the power row on the right side of the breadboard. Next. We'll take the other resistor and plug one end to row three of the right side of the breadboard. And we'll connect the other end of the resistor also to the power row on the right side of the breadboard. Make sure that the wires of the two resistors are not touching. Next, take one end of a jumper wire and plug it into row one on the right side of the breadboard. And we'll take the other end and plug it into a row further down on the right side of the breadboard. We're going to put it into row 17. We're connecting the wires this way so that we can keep the wires out of the way of the sensor. So next, take another jumper wire, plug one end into row 17, so it's connecting to the last wire we put in, then take the other end of the next wire and plug it into analog 4 on your Arduino. Next, take one end of your jumper wire and plug it into row three on the right side of the breadboard. You can see here. Then take the other end of the jumper wire and plug it further down the breadboard on the right side. We're going to put this one into row 16. Then take another jumper wire, plug one end also into row 16 on the right side of the breadboard. Then take the other end of that jumper wire and plug it into analog five of the Arduino. Next, take one end of a jumper wire and plug it into row number one on the left side of the breadboard. And then take the other end of the jumper wire and plug it into 3.3 volt slot on the Arduino. Next, take one end of a jumper wire and plug it into row three on the left hand side of the breadboard.
Then take the other end of that jumper wire and plug it into any of the ground slots on the Arduino. Any of them will work. Finally, take one end of a jumper wire and plug it into row number one on the left hand side of the breadboard. Then take the other end of that jumper and plug it into any of the slots on the power row or the power column on the right hand side of the breadboard. This configuration keeps the wires out of the way so they can use the infrared thermometer to measure temperature in a specific area. Thanks for watching.